For this example, we're going to measure the high front vowel E. Feed. Pratt measures vowels through the information found in the shades of the spectrogram of a vowel sound. The gray shades show us the intensity of the resonance frequencies in the sound wave, which are called formants. We can identify a vowel by the periodic waves of voicing found in the waveform. In order to see the formants, click on Formants and then Show Formants. We will now see a series of dotted lines in the spectrogram. The first dotted line represents the first formant. Its position is inversely related to vowel height. Since this is a high vowel, the value of the first formant is lower. The second dotted line represents the second formant. Its value is directly related to the degree of frontness or backness of the vowel. Since this is a front vowel, the value of the second formant is higher. We normally only need the values of F1 and F2 to measure vowels. F3 is normally useful in the discrimination or identification of speech contrasts. Depending on the quality of our sample, we might need to modify the settings so that we can find the clear dotted lines of each formant. To measure the formants, we want to click on the center of the duration of the vowel. However, for this example, we will try to pick a spot where the formants are stable and flat for a while. To see the value of each formant, we click on Formant and then Formant Listing. Pratt will display a pop-up window with the information of the time of the spot we selected, as well as the values of each formant. We can also modify the settings of the spectrogram to obtain a clear view of each formant.